subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, AWS Certified Alexa Skill Builder, Speciality. Learning Objectives, AWS Alexa Skill Builder, Speciality Exam. First, elucidate the value of voice. Second, design the user experience. Third, understanding AWS, and Alexa's best practices for a skill. Fourth, designing, and developing the architecture to build a skill. Fifth, develop a skill. Sixth, test a skill. Seventh, validate a skill. Eighth, troubleshoot a skill. Ninth, manage the skill publishing process. Tenth, work with Alexa Developer Console. Eleventh, manage skill operations and life cycle. Now we will talk about prerequisites for AWS Certified Alexa Skill Builders exam. There are various prerequisites that are recommended by Amazon to give the Alexa Skill Builder exam, such as First, candidates are expected to have at least six months of hands-on experience, building Alexa skills using Alexa Skills Kit, including skills that incorporate services from the AWS Cloud. Second, one must be proficient in at least one programming language. Third, candidate must have published an Alexa skill before. Exam Details The AWS Alexa Skill Builder exam consists of multiple choice and multiple answer question. Candidates are required to finish the exam within 170 minutes. The exam is available in only two languages, English and Japanese. The registration fee for the same, 300 US dollars. Course Outline First, Voice First Design Practices and Capabilities, which compromises 14% weightage for this exam. Second, Skill Design, which compromises 24% weightage for this exam. Third, Skill Architecture, which compromises 14% weightage for this exam. Fourth, Skill Development, which compromises 20% weightage for this exam. Fifth, Test, Validate, and Troubleshoot, which compromises 18% weightage for this exam. 6th, Publishing, Operations, and Lifecycle Management, which compromises 10% weightage for this exam. Let us now discuss about course outline topics in detail. Domain 1, Voice First Design Practices, and Capabilities, 14%. It contains two subtopics which are. First, explain how user interaction takes place with skills. Second, map features, and capabilities to use cases. Domain 2, Skill Design, 24%. It contains five subtopics which are First, Design, and Develop an Interaction Model. Second, Design a Multi-Turn Conversation. Third, Use Built-in Intents, and Slots. Fourth, Handle Unexpected Conversational Requests, or Responses. Fifth, Design Multimodal Skills using one, or more service interfaces, for example, audio, video, and gadgets. Domain 3, Skill Architecture, 14%. It contains three subtopics which are First, identify AWS services for extending Alexa skill functionality, Amazon CloudFront, Amazon S3, Amazon CloudWatch, and Amazon DynamoDB. Second, use AWS Lambda to build Alexa skills. Third, follow AWS and Alexa security and privacy best practices. Domain 4, Skill Development, 20%. It contains five subtopics which are First, implement in skill purchasing and Amazon pay for Alexa skills. Second, use speech synthesis markup language for expression and MP3 audio. Third, implement state management. Fourth, implement Alexa service interfaces, audio player, video player, and screens. Fifth, parse Alexa JSON requests and provides responses. Domain 5, Test, Validate, and Troubleshoot, 18%. It contains four subtopics which are First, Debug, and Troubleshoot using Amazon CloudWatch, or other tools. Second, Use the Alexa Developer Testing Tools. Third, Perform Beta Testing. Fourth, Troubleshoot Errors in the Interaction Model. Domain 6, Publishing, Operations, and Lifecycle Management, 10%. It contains four subtopics which are First, describe the skill publishing process Second, add 
and remove users in the developer console. Third, perform analysis of skill analytics in the developer console. Fourth, differentiate among the statuses, or versions of skills, for example, in development, in certification, and live. Now we will discuss about, study guide to qualify the AWS AXS CO1 exam. First, review all exam objectives. Before, venturing on any journey, one must have a clear idea of what he, or she is putting themselves into. With that being said, reviewing each, and every exam objective becomes the most important part of your preparation. So, make sure you visit the official website of AWS, to have a clear view. Since, it is the most authentic site to provide any information regarding the AXS CO1 exam. Second, download the course outline. The second most crucial step is to, download the course outline aka, the exam guide. It consists of all the domains, and topics of the examination. So, make sure to download the course outline. Third, exploring AWS learning paths. This learning path is designed for software developers, voice developers, solutions architects, UI developers, voice designers, and others who perform a role involving Alexa skill building. It is also designed for anyone with beginner level coding experience, who wants to learn to build, test, and publish Amazon Alexa skills. Fourth, recommended AWS knowledge. It is recommended that candidates must have at least six months of experience of hands-on experience building Alexa skills, using the Alexa skills kit, including skills that incorporate services from the AWS cloud. Also, proficiency with a programming language. Fifth, online courses. If a candidate wishes to join an online course for the same, there are various courses available online. In fact, the internet is cluttered with so many courses. So, make sure to find a suitable course, which is available in your price range. These courses provide you with online video study material, that can get digested easily. Also, they even provide the candidate with sample papers. So, you can try them out. Sixth, join a community, or online forum. Online forums, and study groups are a great way to prepare for the certification exam. Therefore, feel free to get in touch with other candidates through study forums, or online groups to ask a question related to the topic you're having difficulty with. Seventh, self-evaluation time. Finally, we're on the last step for the preparatory guide. Further, this final step will give the candidate the exact insight of the topics in which they're lacking. So, make sure you're going through sample tests, after you have gone through the entire syllabus. Most importantly, all the practice tests are designed to encounter the real exam environment around you. However, practice papers can be from various sources. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.